Uh, thank you very much uh, for having Fedor Bank at this great event. It's absolutely impressive. Uh, and what I want to give to you today is a little bit of um, a little bit of yeah. What what were the first years of Fedor Bank? A little bit of insight to the to the non-theoretical but practical life of how it is to set up a new bank, uh, and asking ourselves first of all why redesigning financial services, and second how to redefine it. So it's a little bit more like a practical showcase. It's less maybe theoretical, less maybe visionary. It's, as you would expect it, more German. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, um, you're not affected by this, but we are really happy to make it in the next round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, come on, come on. <laughs> Yeah, you're such a fair play country, so. <laughs> so, what is our vision? I said it's less visionary, but this is our vision. We think, we think there should be better banking everywhere on this planet, actually. We think, this means on the other side, we think banking really can be improved in each region of this country, uh, planet. It's uh, not only in Europe, it's not only in the UK. We, we, by the way, we separate Europe and the UK, okay? Um, <laughs> And, and in the countries we are operating in, not political today. Um, so, but first of all, uh, next is what is very, uh, how, how can you define better banking? Just four phrases to this, okay? To us, better banking should be, first of all, open. What does it mean? It means it should be open to not only in-house innovations, if there are some, Okay, talking to the big banking organizations. It should be open to the outside world, actually. It should be open via technical infrastructure. It should be open via an API infrastructure or whatever way you can do this today within a modern technical environment. It should be, as I said, open to a modern infrastructure. This means it must, you must, if you set up banking today, you must reduce your cost of IT per year per customer or per user, no matter how you want to see it. I'll show you some figures later on. No borders, it's cross-border. If you're web banking, and Fido Bank is a digital approach, if you're web banking, it's cross-border banking. There is no sense for us, a Munich-based bank, to improve payment services from Munich to Stuttgart or Berlin. That's boring. That's not our objective. This will leave to the Sparkassen in Germany. Okay, or to the Raiffeisenbanken, as we call them, com community banking. So, and it must be open for local business partners and at the same time like for global business partners and so on. So, openness, it must be open. This is also very much a call for culture. It must be an open culture. It must be effective, 24 hours, seven hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. No reason not to pay out a loan, not on a Sunday. Did your customers ask you why money in a normal bank is not moving on a Sunday? Day off for money? When you bill me, there is no day off, you know? <laughs> Super speed banking. Take the Wonga lesson, maybe. Why is Wonga so attractive in the UK market? It's speed. Obviously, it's not the price. <laughs> it's obvious. It's speed. It's easiness. It's convenience, you know? It must be free. It, it should create a freedom of choice. It should be independent. It should be not having hurdles from any kind of centralized product department saying you're allowed only to sell this kind of fund or this kind of product. It should be open. Yeah? So it should be stopping financial illiteracy instead of boring people and creating financial illiteracy by this. Yeah? You bored people 50 years. So people are fed up with finance. And now we are complaining they're illiterate. Yeah? You're part of the game to this. You, you, not, not you in specific, so, but the outside world. Yeah? <laughs> and it should be integrative. It's a, it's a service, okay? So financial services. I'm coming out of hospitality industry. You know, I worked in London at the Hyde Park Hotel. Service means we integrate our guest actually in, our, in what we do. This is we ask the guest how he or she wants to have it, what kind of a food, what kind of a room, and so on. It's not like in a bank where we say, you applied for the room now. <laughs> Where's your application form? Print out the application form and queue up now for lunch. This is not what we do. And we do not close 
during lunchtime our restaurant because the waiters are hungry. You know, this is not like a branch, a banking branch approach. It's totally different. So, what is the FIDO approach then to take it from left to right? What is the idea and vision? As I said, it's better banking. What is the digital market? So it's saying already, digital market. So we, when we founded this company, we said we are 100% digital. This is it. We are not offline, not at all. I once received the question, how do you convince offline persons to come to your bank? I said, no, I don't. As easy as that. You know, McDonald's didn't start with a vegetarian campaign. <laughs> no, they didn't. This is what we call profile, okay? So what are the markets we're working in? It's e-commerce, Web 2.0. I separated from social media because I think the one maybe hasn't got anything to do with the other. Mobile internet, gamification, and some more mega trends to be caught. What, is, what we did over the last years, we created our own operating system. Why do I think an operating system is crucial? Because you are using your smartphones. Are you stuck to your anti-wise? Or are you sticking to your operating system? I guess you're sticking to your operating system, even that you don't know it really, okay? So your Android or your iOS or whatever it's coming up, you're not a phone customer or you're not a tablet customer or a PC customer. You know what I mean? Okay, so the iOS or the operating system is creating the stickiness. It's not the end device. All right, once you've got this, you set up a bank totally different. And what is it? What is our approach? It's customer centric. We deliver it to the customer who's in the middle community, payment, banking, and some more modules. So, what about community? To give you just some examples now within this short 15 minutes of how we think. A modern bank should be set up, actually. It's very community-centric, and I tried to create this kind of picture of, of heliocentric universe. So a community can affect you in your data management, in your HR, actually. It can affect your social media behavior as a bank. It can link with banking, community and banking. Tech, of course, is very, very crucial, and customer service and your KPIs. So this is definitely more Setting up a new bank it's, it, with a community-centric approach is definitely more than just creating a Facebook, Facebook profile of your bank and the rest remains as it is today. This is not modern banking. This is boring people via Facebook. Okay? One example. We, we tell people to talk about money. Talk about money. Because this is the only way how to improve your personal financial situation. Talk about it anonymously. Talk the way you are actually talking. Talk not the way the bank is maybe talking because you do not understand bank talk. Okay? Just ask people at night when you have time maybe sitting in London transport, traffic jams, asking somebody, is gold now a good buy? Or, or should I sell my, my silver coins? Or how to avoid inflation? Um, or whatever kind of a specific problem you expect with the British pound. <laughs> um, <laughs> as I said, not to be political today. Um, <laughs> and so on. Just talk about it. If you do not talk about it, you never will be better. You know, you never will create an interest on it. You never can share your experience. You never can tell anybody else that this bank is a good bank. This insurance is maybe useless. This product is great. You should think about it. If you're a student, you should do ABC. Hi, Brett. Come and learn something. If you do, <laughs> if you, if you do this product, ABC, this is good for you, for your pension plan, and so on. So talk about it. The community is crucial. We have 8,000 money IFA advisors being rated. 4,300 product suggestions to the bank over the last three and a half years. 3,100 German-speaking products to be rated. 7,000 suggestions from user to user how to reduce your spendings and how to reduce your cost, which is useful. Why? Because we try to help people to get the first euro. We do not start thinking with the thousandth euro. And we do not start thinking when the customer is coming with 10,000 euros to the bank saying, I've got a big problem, now I need you. No, we help with the little problems as well. A community is very efficient doing so. So, we also allow people to co-create pricing. This is integrating people into the financial services. So, this is more the, 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 the fun way. Okay, so we created an interest rate which is linked to our likes on Facebook. In this case, it's, this is the interest rate on our overdraft. 
Okay? The more likes we have, the lower is the interest rate. Yeah, this is what we call like interest rate. Okay? So every 2,000 likes, the interest rate is decreasing by 0.1%. Yes? For controlling and compliance guys in here, there's a flaw. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we thought about it. <laughs> Okay, but this is one way of integrating people, you know. This is for the first time that banking pricing is not being done in kind of a back office, hide it away from the customers, totally transparent, nobody knows how it's working. It's transparent, just click on it, go for it. You even can join a group in the community, it's called interest rate consensus. Within this group we discuss upcoming, upcoming, not ex post, ex ante as we say. Yeah, upcoming interest rate changes, we discuss with them at least for five to ten days. And then we make a community consensus and then we uh, decide on the next savings certificate, uh, on, the, on the upcoming interest rate for loan and so on. And believe me, if you treat your community members like co-managers, they act like co-managers. If you treat your customers like childs, they act like childs. That's right. That's the difference. Speed banking is not the exemption. Speed banking must be the rule. This is our learning out of the Wonga case. This is our learning out of the Amazon case. Speed beats, so process beats price. This is the rule. If your process is stem slowly, don't you be <clears throat> surprised that your customers first of all go to a comparison website and check out the pricing because they've got time anyhow to do so. And don't you think that your offer is actually what Brett would call contextual? It's not. Yeah? You're out of, out of the loop. 24, 48 hours, whatever it takes the time to get a product from your site, you're out of the loop. You did de-Google the audience, actually. You bought them via the offer. And it's not mobile banking that you supply me an application form for a loan on my iPad, which I then can fill out and print out and carry to the branch. This is not mobile banking, just because you need me to be mobile. <coughs> Community banking is data banking. And I'm not sharing everything on this, but I'm, you can imagine that we in the community have m way more data of our customers than you have. No, not operating a community. Easy, isn't it? So we know that there are correlations. If you give us data set, whatever, A, we know the correlation to data set B, which means if you share this, it's highly likely that you also do this and so on. This is creating a totally new relationship in between customer and customer and customer and bank. One of the outcomes or one of the input and outcomes also to this is the community profile of a customer, which is really transparent, it's increasingly trust delivering. And why is this important? Because we are very open for peer-to-peer -peer banking and crowd finance. So if you're open to peer-to-peer -peer banking, you need to deliver trust and, tra and transparency in, uh, in a very specific way. If you're open to crowd finance, you must access, you must allow to access data and documents, you must allow exchange from user A to user B, and so on. And this is what will uh, be seen there in the near future. What will be seen there is what we call the community karma. By the way, <clears throat> this name is being decided by the community. So the community karma is showing how active you are in the community, how socially responsive and responding you are in the community. And we will tell you that high karma, good pricing. Low karma, regular pricing. So for the first time, your social platform behavior really drives your economical reputation and pricing. Furthermore, we will have integrated personal finance management into the account and next to the community. Why? I think it's damn necessary. As soon as I find out that at the end of my money, there's still some months left, I need to have support. So who could be my first support? It could be a community. Okay. So this is all needed. We are open to innovation like Bitcoin. We are open to innovation like Ripples and innovative payment services like Currency Cloud. We are open to a developer community which now can use our API infrastructure because we are operating an open infrastructure and platform system which we call account. And we see that 
HR is also affected uh, by the community. 10% of feeder bank staff is coming via the community. So those people are registering as user, they are ramping up to become a customer, and at a certain day they say, when they see an ad in the community, they say, listen, this is really cool what, we do, what you do, let me participate in your team. Active in the community, what does it mean? Is there a return on social media or on social uh, web-based interaction? Yes, we know that active users in the community are more active in their account transactions. What else? This is the customer decrease, de uh, this is the cost decrease. 200 US dollars per year per high street bank per user versus Google and Facebook, three dollars per year per user. Yes, this is a different business model. You cannot compare it in the back of your mind. No, forget it. This is what you have to face as a challenge. Okay? So Feeder Bank is currently at $15 per year per user, IT cost. What else? We have 20% of industry standard when it comes to customer acquisition cost. We had last year a conversion rate from three users in the community to one full KYC customer all over the four years before, five to one. So I think we do quite good and effective. Final question, is it needed to have a banking license? Why not reducing yourselves to be kind of a financial services institution and not a bank? We think, yes, clear answer. It is needed to, be a to have a banking license because if you really want to change the core DNA of a banking product, you must be a bank. Simple rule, if you, if you only can hijack a plane if you sit in it. Thank you very much. <laughs>